Destructive chewing. How do we stop it? Well, first we've got to understand why dogs you know, are destructive and do that kind of chewing in the first place. And the answer is quite simple, actually. They're bored. Yep, that's it. When you don't tell your dog what you want him to do, he will find something to do to entertain himself. That could be chewing up your shoes, chewing up your bed, chewing up the door jam. So we need to be able, if you're, if you're struggling with a dog who you know, has destructive chewing, we need to find a way to say to the dog, hey, this is what I want you to do. All right? And the best way to do that is puzzle toys. Toys that you can put food into. And that will keep your dog busy. When you take a Kong or a Busy Buddy with food stuffed in there and hand it to your dog, toy with food is always going to outweigh shoe or door jam or couch. All right? Food is the highest priority to dog, and that's much more exciting than chewing on furniture. So, the first thing we want to do with destructive chewing is make sure that the dog is not bored. We want to give them options of toys to play with. And just regular toys usually won't do it, because unless there's someone to interact with the dog, they're, they're bored. Toys with food, however, are great mental stimulation, which gets the dog tired, um, but they entice the dog to play with it because they have to work to get the food out, all right? Couple things you can do. Puzzle toys. Take a puzzle toy, shove food in there, run just the dog's regular kibble, and then run it under hot water. So the kibble gets nice and soggy and swells up, and then take the whole toy and put it into the freezer with the kibble inside. You pull it out the next day, and now you have frozen kibble inside there. It's much, much harder for the dog to get it out. It'll last much longer, and your dog will love having that frozen treat. Um, Bones. You can do bones for dogs, okay? Now, here's the thing about bones to remember. Always raw, okay? We never, ever give dog, uh, dogs cooked bones because cooked bones can splinter and, they can, and the dogs can choke on them. So if you're going to give your dog bones to chew on, always raw and always give him a bigger size than you think he should have because, again, we don't want to risk a chewing hazard. Bones are also a much higher value than the shoe or the couch or you know the table leg. Um, destructive chewing, a big part of it, comes down to basically, you know, in a way the dog understands, saying this is what we want you to do. We want you to chew on this, not that. We want you to chew on this, not that. Okay. Now, here's another part of destructive chewing. Sometimes the boredom part. The destructive chewing is essentially are us humans fault because we're allowing our dog to be bored. But there's also another part that, you know, comes into play. It's that we can be messy sometimes. So clean up. I mean, that's, that's the biggest thing. I used to be the messiest person before I got my dog. My old, when I, before I had my dog, you could never see the floor in my house. I was such a mess. But when I brought home that eight week old puppy who would put everything in his mouth, and destroy anything that I left out when he was unsupervised, I became the cleanest person you will ever meet. And even now, I, I'm the same way, because he will destroy stuff if I leave it out. Dogs can't differentiate, and this is why when puzzle toys with food comes in so well, um, you know, especially people with children, dogs can't really differentiate, is this my toy, is this you know, the kid's toy? When there's food in it, however, it becomes very easy to know, yeah, this toy with food, yeah, that's mine, all right? So part of it is cleaning up because if you, you know, have a, have a mess going, then you're, you're enticing the dog to pick something to destroy, okay? Now, if you notice that there are very specific locations that for whatever reason your dog just continually goes back to, you can try the deterrent sprays, okay? I'm going to call them bitter sprays because that's pretty much what they are. They all have a really nasty, um, bitter taste. Don't ever get it, you know, on your own, on your own mouth because it tastes disgusting. I've, I know what it tastes like. It's not good. Uh, bitter spray. It's just a, usually a water-based spray. So let's say your dog's chewed on the table leg. You spray it on the table leg. Next time the dog goes over, he licks it. Ugh, that's gross. And he goes away. Okay. There's another one you can use. Bitter, the bitter spray. Uh, hot sauce. <laughs> I've actually used this before, like Tabasco, small amounts, hot sauce, same thing. Sometimes the hot sauce is more effective. 
if, and again, this is for them chewing on a specific thing, okay? Um, the hot sauce is super effective because just the smell of it. Dogs' noses are so sensitive that sometimes just the smell can be the deterrent. They don't even have to lick it to, to be deterred, okay? Um, so you can't try some of those things if they are continually chewing on one spot. And if you catch them in the act, you can do timeout as well. We'll add that one here. Um, timeout is, is the last one, okay? Be sure to watch the timeout video though so you know how to do it properly. Um, you can do timeout, but again, only if you catch them in the act. If you don't catch them in the act, there's no point to do timeout, all right? Um, but the main thing with destructive chewing, don't let your dogs be bored. That, that's what it comes down to. Keep everything clean so there's not you know, anything that is enticing the dog to destroy. Um, and then give, tell the dog what you want him to do. Dog's not a mind reader. He doesn't know naturally that shoes are not okay, right? But if he has a toy full of food, that's a very clear signal that, okay, this must be for me, all right? Okay, so that is destructive chewing. Really common problem, and it's important to understand the reasons why dogs dig before we get into, you know, how do we actually stop it? So, why do dogs dig?